Hey, love bugs. It's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs and my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. And I hope that everybody's having a blessed week, blessed day, blessed moments, blessed hours. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and you have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. It's greatly appreciated. And, you know, if you, you, you don't, you know, hey been with me for a while i ain't heard from you in a minute please go ahead you know shoot you know shoot a text just shoot you know drop a comment that's what i meant to say drop a comment it will greatly be appreciated and um what i was gonna say whatever you're going through to get to i'm putting prayers and love out there for you i wasn't trying to rhyme or something like that i just know as well <laughs> but yeah whatever you're going through to get to hey i'm praying for you and put it that way anything that's coming in that is not making the best out of me and creating me to be the best version of myself that you're trying to do nefarious vibes to baby i'm sending that right back return that the sender in every way form everything is strongly protected in every way every vibe every form every direction so i'm just sending that back to you so that mine's gonna be healing love and light peace into your life and ultimate healing and the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 it says serene vibe of the contents of placing yourself first it's the peace for me it is that when you know you're at peace with yourself you know a lot of times you being at peace and you being into your own understanding of taking place into your life you know is going to disrupt a lot of people anybody who can't benefit off of it control it manipulate it is 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 going to be that way and those are the different things where it's just like when you get that point where you're not stepping on nobody's toes. You're, you're not doing anything to hurt nobody. But it's at that point where I'm going to do what I need to do to become a better person. I'm, I'm trying to do what I need to do to be where I'm, you know, I'm directed to be at. I'm on my path and I want to be able to follow that the best way I can. It's not easy to be on that path. It's not. Whatever you're being guided towards on a purpose is at that boat. It'll be at that vibe where you're really trying to allow yourself to be. I love being at peace with myself it's easy to be at war <laughs> you know it'll be easy to be at war but when you're doing different things and it'll be just like and i've been hearing that a lot lately because we just had the sagittarius moon full moon and it's giving you that opportunity of going to be in your midst of greatness and you should be you know that's what you should be and move accordingly my beautiful queens and my handsome kings you need to be you know and it'll be just to that point where you even know when you're on that vibe of transition and you're going through ultimate spiritual transition and you already know it's not easy to be in a vibe where you're not allowing things to bother you but that's teach everything is a lesson towards you anything that bothers you is allowing you to say to be patient with it be understanding but allow yourself to take your power back you know anything that's irritating your soul anything that you know what the point was and it, it was an example i watched a little bit of uh the boogeyman and the mess had me tripping out because the man was like anything you fear or hurts you is a, is a, is a challenge to uh you know it is it's a duty it's a challenge i forgot exactly how you said verbatim but it was basically anything that is in your soul and it distracts you it hurts you it triggers you you need to work on that but yet he going through some stuff and he refused to work on it. i'm like you are preaching but you ain't taking your own advice and that's why it'll be different times where i've been there where i'll say some stuff and i'll let stuff piss me off put me in a whole vibe i'm my like, sis and i had to come assess myself like hey come back when, when were you just telling your brothers and sisters they need to do you, you don't be as that do as i say not as i do no you need to get, don't be preaching to somebody else to do that and if you can't take your own advice you know what i needed that you know i really needed that in myself because there'll be different things like i say you know what it really really messed me up but then i'll be at that point where you know what that was a lesson that i needed to be able to grow you have to be at peace with yourself that's why you know it was uh and like i said when i was on my last video i don't know when it's gonna come out but it was the last video i was seeing where it says forgive them 
you know, forgive them, forgive yourself. And it would be just like those different things where a lot of times it's hard for us to forgive the people that hurt us because it's trying to say we're okay with what they did. And it's not that. And I had to be able to learn that because it was like some things that really, it was really traumatizing to me where I'm that type of person. I don't let you get away with stuff like that. It, I had, I was in my pride. In my pride, you know, where I just go tit for tat. And it's like at that point. When are you winning when you going tit for tat for somebody? You just allowing them to know whatever they did. And I had to hear that even from my abusers. It's like when you allow yourself to, uh, when you can be calm, you become dangerous. When you can be able to control your emotions, you can. But you need to forgive those people. I had to deal with a lot of different things where I can see when you don't forgive and you bleeding on people that didn't cut you, you can see how damaging that can be to your life. And I'll just leave it at that. I ain't trying to, you don't bring up anything. But I had to really learn from that. And I still want to be at peace with my life. You know, different things. I might not have the choices on what I was raised into, what I was exposed to, but I can allow myself to learn to not go ahead and repeat that history of what somebody has normalized because a lot of times you know when we have gone through series of abuse in our lives you know it, it can be at that point where you can say I went through this I went through that and I went through this and you are entitled to be able to speak that but we also have to place an understanding this is when they're like that they felt like okay where people are like when you're in your emotions that's being weak you know that's not what it's doing it's not teaching you to be you know you being into your emotions and saying you know what that that you know made me cry or that you know hurt my feelings or that did this and those are the different things you're allowing yourself to be real saying you are entitled to feel that way but be honest about how you're feeling in that way you know but don't allow yourself to plant yourself there you know those are the different things where you can see where life can really create an issue for you if you were still you know using what took place to be able to normalize bad behavior on how you treat other people or even exactly not how you treat other people because how you treat other people is how you treat yourself and I want to be in that piece of happiness of what is taking place into my life and let me be able to allow myself to grow off of that because a lot of different things will be coming well all the different things it's not like you know I said well I did say all all the things that's coming into your life is teaching you how to better yourself anything that's going in where it's you know is putting some kind of resistance or some kind of challenge that's where change is creating place because it'd be like oh you know I love people even though I'm like I don't know how the hell you read that but you know I need to take notes from you on how you like change to challenge you all the time because some of that stuff be making me want to go into God be really testing my inner gangster you know I'm doing that I'm like God he be really taking me He's like yeah I do but I'm the biggest gangster right here because I'm not allowing what other people do to ridicule me. I'm not allowing what other people have done to keep me in that vibe to be focusing on whatever people have done. But allowing myself to, you know, place love and understanding to that. Maybe these people did not have love into their life. And you're giving that by showing, you know, this is if this is how we're going to bond, I can't do that. But I can show you the love that you may need. But, you know, if you don't respect that, I can love you from a distance. You know, and you just because you forgive people, that's a, another thing on how to be happy. Just because you're be, forgiving people don't mean you have to bring them back in your life. I can forgive you and love you from a distance. Because I already see, you know, when I forgave before, this became that purpose, you know. And I say, I, I'm on that. I used to give that a thousand chances rule and then wonder why the heck I'm feeling miserable because I allowed myself to stay in a situation where clearly God was trying to pull me up out of. He'll show you who people truly are. You got to be able to believe that, but you got to be able to move accordingly. It's like, oh, you know, why? Oh, we ain't talking no more. We ain't doing this. I'm being happy with myself and being in your life is making me miserable and I can't allow myself to do that. I'm not trying to hurt you, but these are the reasons why I stepped out of your, out of your life. But there'll be times where people know exactly what they're doing and when you pull back, you know exactly the reason why I pull back and we're not going to have that discussion. You know, because you know exactly what you did for me to be able to do that. And I'm, I'm in that serene content of creating happiness for myself and that's the act of self-love. And we're doing that by being able to go through what we, you know, gone through to get to it. 
you have to be able to go some kind of hateful situation, create some kind of love that is going to create, you're going to birth out something that's going to be very powerful. Because people, you know, some people get in their mind when you can control something that makes you powerful. No, because we don't have control over anything except on how we choose what choices we make, how we speak on things, how we move about things, and what choices we choose to make and the directions we choose to live by. That's the only thing you have control over. God and universe has control over anything. Anything you got to manipulate to go in your favor is clearly showing you and you already know. That, that wasn't supposed to be in your life. That's not a part of your journey. This this life, I got a different life for you. But you have to be able to want to be able to do that. You know. And there's a lot of times we create misery in our lives. Or we become more stressed. I used to do that. Shoot, I even have to call myself out on it. Girl, you trying to control something again. Or you trying to speak on something so somebody want to hear something. If somebody want to be deaf towards anything that's going to help them grow, allow them to be able to do that. And you have to be able to respect them on that. But I'm going to allow things to make me grow. That's how you get better into life. You can't go through life and I had to learn through that you know through different things I've gone through and different things I've seen other people through you can't go through life manipulating things to go into your way they may have worked before on a certain level but you're you're on a certain level where it's going to create different devils for you or different strategies or even different challenges that's going to make you choose a different choice or you got to be able to do that because this is you know you, you we can't learn if we're still rehearsing the same old mistakes you know, and I had to be able to learn that, you know, because it would be just like when I really sit back and I'd be like, girl, you know, I'd be getting my own self up. I'm like, girl, go ahead. Like, mm -hmm. you know, roll my own self up because there'll be different things. Like I'll go through it and then it'll be it'll be easy to talk about all the negative stuff that's going on. But it was just like, OK, when we normalize that and I've been on that vibe normalizing, I want to normalize something that is going to bring some kind of growth into my life. These are the different things that I'm really trying to do. And it's not easy to always do that. But these are the different things that's taking place for you to be able to get that chance to do that. You created whatever you choose to create. You create your reality and you have to live by that. When you create by bringing power and love into a situation. Yes, grant that. I'm not talking about the surroundings of what you're trying to create what you are personally creating because there's a lot of times you're trying to create love power and getting on to that and you're around a whole hailstorm and that's reason when you are the hell the, the hailstorm you are in is creating your own personal power you're not allowing what other people are doing what your situation is to take that main take you away from the main focus of growing from that becoming more than what you are surrounded by but when you're being in surroundings of something, a lot of times we have to know this is a temporary situation to make a permanent decision to create something better for you. But you have to be able to see it is that you may not like the situation you're in right now. You may not even like where you are right now. But that doesn't mean this is in a preparation to create something better for you. But you'll be like, but man, I'm in a, in a real heavy situation and I'm you know I'm going through some real crazy circumstances right now but I'm gonna allow myself to take that state of claim that this is gonna empower me to become a beast in what I do because when you can allow yourself to breathe love in everything that is meant to be formed as destruction for you baby you a beast already because you're taming the different things that you used to give reaction to you used to breathe energy focused into and being able to allow myself to know you know what I'm growing from that I'm allowing myself to not take it personal but love the fact that I went through these things because it allowed me to see what I needed to fix in my life I can't fix in other people's lives you know you creating that power of that you know I've been going through different things where you know uh, when when I took away a lot of things it gave me that focus of what what I used to allow to distract me or the different distractions where I can allow myself to be in my life where you can see this was an illusion. This was a distraction for me. This pulled me away from God. This pulled me away from myself. This pulled me away from my peace. And I want to be able to be better than that. And for how are you going to be able to do that? By allowing myself to do the things that I do have control over. To do the things that I do. I can create change for. 
You know, anything that I don't, I have to be able to take my power away from that. And what I allow myself to focus on, give that power back to that. Because I don't need that. That creates stagnation. And I ain't trying to be stagnant on nothing. I'm trying to create better for me. And for me to be able to do that, I have to be able to look at different things and allow this to see this is a challenge for you. Are you going to allow it to challenge you or are you going to allow it to consume you? You're placing your serene content of happiness. This is what you're continuing to do because you're, it, it makes you not selfish. I've heard people tell me that's narcissistic. How the heck is it narcissistic? Because I want to choose to be happy. My my happiness is not based off of hurting other people. But if my happiness is somebody is their peace and happiness is based off of be, me being in sorrow and pain. That person don't need to be in my life. And that should not be able to create happiness. That's not happiness. That that That's this, that that's low. That's low. Anything that create happiness where you see you know, whatever you did in somebody's life. Or whatever setback that that is. And you content with seeing somebody being in that. There's something more wrong with you than the other person. Unless that other person sees the different things that's keeping them in that low vibration and don't do nothing about it. Because there will be different times where you can see that you allowed you to sit up here and stay in a season for a longer time than you needed to. I've been there. I'm be a, a very transparent about that. I don't stay in a situation long, so much longer than I need to be. And there'll be different times where I don't place judgment. Like, girl, I wouldn't have did that, but you did do that. Man, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have went that way, but you did go that way. Stop judging other people. You didn't like it when other people, and I had to be that. When I tell you where I was getting in my own self, because I'll be like, I, you going to say something? Mm mm, because I've been there. Sometimes it takes us a lot longer to see the different things that create pain in our lives when we're allowing ourselves to be comfortable in that. And that's something you should not be comfortable in. That should not be anything to be comfortable in. I want to be co connecting and, mag you know, gravitating towards and allowing myself to be open towards anything that breathes best into me brings empowerment brings growth brings congratulations bring prosperity progress preparation dedication motivation all those Asians you know I want to be over on that and anything that grab I, I'm changing a part of me that attracts Anything that keeps me in that low vibration, I'm cutting that mess off. You gonna be the I don't want to be dealing with this person, this person, because they this and this and that. But what you okay? That and I mean, and you that that you going one step ahead, but allow yourself to cut off anything that opens to invite that back in. Because anything where you stand in it in your power, people like I said in my last video, I think I forgot to say that it, it can be hurtful when people you don't like being rejected. Nobody likes being rejected. But a lot of times you are priceless. You 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 put a price tag on you and that should be like you it was like what's her price tag on you? Because some people will look at you like that, oh all I need to do is this and this and that. It'd be very low maintenance. You don't want to tell anybody you low maintenance because I'll let them know, oh I can treat you any kind of way. That means you'll accept anything as long as I give you some, you know, that love bomb and stuff. You put something in there bring a little gift, say a little this and this and that, tap them on the booty, make them seem like they're special, and you snatch that away just because you done got them comfortable in something. That's that's love bombing. I ain't, I ain't trying to be into that. I'm not normalizing that anymore. I want something that where we're both, you know, be on that vibe. It don't have to be in a relationship with a significant other, but people, anybody I'm attracted to in that way, any way. You know, I'm not saying it just like in spouse, but, you know, people that I work around, people that I want to grow with, people I'm collaborating with. We're going through spiritual collaboration, and I want to be like, you know what, you've gone through that. You know, and I had to be, where well, I used to get offensive when somebody sat here and told me some stuff like that. Yeah, you know, I know you've been through that, but you talk a lot about that. And I used to get mad, because I said, shoot, I went through it. Okay, you went through it, but what was good coming after that? You know, you don't want to keep rehearsing that. Those are the different things that you went through. But just saying, you know what, girl, I'm, you are a man, you know, or a fam, folk, fam, whatever. I've been through some stuff just like, you know, been through it. But I'm trying to create better in my life. I've been at war with myself for a long time. Because a lot of times it's like we have this person against us and this person against us. And you may feel that in, in, in our mind of being in fear and negativity will make us feel that way. We are. But that'll be that part because you still got that enemy on the inside of you. And that's what you're collecting on changing. 
that that's when you're in that you know in that preparation to do that preparation is meant to elevation and that's what you're doing and you're being put in different challenging things where your happiness is your first and top priority you just, and I used to be put I used to be that type of person who put my happiness on a back burner just to make other people happy and it made me miserable but it's just like anybody who really truly want to be happy with you with you being in their life like that they're going to work with you to become a better person those are the ones who wants to have you in your life those are the ones that will be scared to lose you and they'll be like you know what I see this is going to be that per that situation is going to be issue to where you're going to walk past me and I'm not trying to have that in my life so when, I, uh, when I'm doing that let me allow myself how can we fix this that's when you know you I'm like oh shoot you trying to grow with me too and when you're seeing like okay this is going to be a problem you know and, and this is anything that's going to take me out of my peace and stuff like that and I'm not talking about things that's going to make you grow better yourself but different things that's very low vibration or are negative or it's trying to trigger you that is something like that I'm not going to continue to deal with that I will speak my truth and speak my peace and I'll go about my business I'm not going to you know, go tiff for tell. I ain't gonna go back and forth with nobody. But I'm like, this is how I feel. This is I'm laying that on the table. If that's not something you can you you can accept, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna be in my peace. And if that's gonna disturb you, baby, take that mess where somebody's gonna entertain it because I I refuse. I will not. And you're being at that as soon as I said that 21, 21. But you're going through those different things of where you my peace and my happiness is my top priority. I'm not gonna let nothing get in the way of that and if you're trying to do that you're wasting your time here because no one can't allow you to do that that's wasting time and time don't even exist and i'm not about to allow that i could have been putting my energy on something that was going to be very progressive and this is going to be something that's very stagnant very that and you're getting in that serene content of vibration of where you're creating that within yourself and that creates power that is then forcing self-love into yourself that's why it is always starting with self self-esteem self-care self-love you know, self transformation all those different things because it starts with us first and you're creating that. So I hope that you are able to resonate with the content of the videos, y'all. I would love to give a post notification shout out. Um let me see. Uh Darian Krause, much love to you. Um, Yvonne Estrada. 555 much love to you as well and Brandon uh Brian Dot I don't want to say Brandon. I apologize, Brian, if you watch this. So much love to you. If you're new to the channel, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Like I said, I'm sending almost all the love and prayers that you're needing. Whatever you're going through to get to, I'm sending so much love and whatever you're needing to get to it, which you're going to get through because I'm placing that name. I'm playing I'm claiming that on your name. You gonna get through that. Okay, so I'm sending that love towards you a million times for, you know, um, through social distancing. Make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. Those will really take people further away, uh, a, a long way, and they'll take you even further when you're doing that for, you know, positive intent because you want to see people bring out the best in them instead of stressing them. So it's doing that. So much love to you. Namaste. Shalom. Much love. God bless. I said that again. You know, much love because, you know, I love y'all. So I'm sending that towards y'all. So you'll speak me on my next video. Much love to you and peace.